Hello, this is Barry Lynch from Irish Farm Computers AgriNet and what we're going to do with this uh, introductory video is just show you how to open up the stock part of the farm software and start making some sense of the main menu system and how to get around the stock program. So if I um, double click on the IFC Herdmaster icon, so two quick clicks and it starts opening up the front page of the front screen of the program. So in here I have a list of any farms that I have. So at the moment you can see I just have one farm or one herd. If I had two herds there'd be two two items here and you'd pick whichever farm you want. And then you go into either the accounts or the herdmaster depending on what you're interested in working with. So if I click once on herdmaster, so one click and it starts going into the farm mm -hmm. software. Most buttons w w within the software you just click once and you know something will happen. So I've just updated fertility, which means that all the information that changes from day to day, like days in milk, days in calf, that gets updated on the way in. If you had a beef type herd, you could say no on the way in to get in a little bit quicker. So now I'm in and I have my main menu system. And the most important thing is to look at these five tabs at the top with the blue writing. Uh, on the left hand side, I have new animals events. Then I have batch data entry, steps and reports, other features and list animals. So these five blue tabs will navigate across all of the functions within the software and that's always your reference point to go from section to section. When I'm in new animals events, um, if you let the mouse hover over a button, see the way I've let the mouse hover over by a new farm animal, and down at the very bottom of the screen you can see that there's a paragraph of text which actually describes what that button is for. So if you're not sure what anything is for, just let the mouse hover over the button and read the writing. So if I go down right to the very bottom right, I have check CMMS list and you can see the text on the bottom will tell you exactly what that, but that button actually does. If I click into batch data entry, everything in here is to do with batches of animals. So for example, if you um, batch dose 20 calves on the same day with the same drug, then you would use the dose um, button. If you want to record the purchase of a group of animals, um, you click in there. It, there's a lot of uh, information you can get electronically from, for example, meat factories from Marts, um, from other Herdmaster users. If you can import that electronically, it saves you the trouble of having to do it yourself. So all of those are in this batch section because, again, it deals with a batch of data for a group of animals. The third tab, Steps and Reports, that's another area where we have key functions on the left hand side for example I can change my herd details or the herd email address uh, things like that uh, addresses is um, putting in a list of the people that you work with all the people you buy stock from sell stock to um, or the people you sell your milk uh, uh, to and so forth so we'll work with that with the second video because that's one of the first areas we get people to do some data entry um, on the right hand side here, there's a lot of key reports like duty reports is ideal for fertility management. Um, the herd register is uh, obviously your bovine herd register. So if you have a farm inspection, that's the button that you'll go in there, print off the bovine herd register and print off or view the uh, drugs remedies. Again, you can see the writing at the bottom changes. So I know what every particular button does. So probably the first thing I would do as a beginner is go through the five tabs let the mouse hover on top of every one of the buttons and then just read the writing at the bottom. If I go into other features, other features, um, they're all um, features that you may not use initially but you will probably or could use as time passes. And there's some very significant sections in here. For example, the tillage section is a complete tillage section that manages the, you know, the gross margins on individual plots of land and crops that you plant. And it would be very um, useful for you know up to two, three hundred acres of tillage. Um, the grassland section um, is for grass measurement, grass budgeting, grass wedges, um, looking at how to um, monitor grass and make the best use out of your the grass on the farm. Again, I won't go through each button in turn. I, you just let the mouse hover over each one, read the text at the bottom, and you can find out yourself what they do. Over here in the top right, the sheep records is a complete sheep program in itself and in, in there we can completely monitor the um, flock register we can do the dispatch documents we can keep track of everything from a f for sheep records sheep management pedigree records the whole lot so if we go on to the next tab list animals now I'm going to spend a little bit of time here because list animals is a 
a bread and butter um, screen that we will get a lot of use of out of at the very start and also on an ongoing basis. So the first thing we do when we're in um, list animals, we press the red button here. In, in the Herdmaster software, whenever you see a red button, that's, that's the one to press if you want to make progress. Straight away, you can see just underneath, I have 156 rows. So that means that the program thinks that there's 156 current farm animals on this farm at the moment. You can see up here that this option shows current farm animals. Now I could just as easily go in here and I could change the past farm animals if I want, but I'll just stay with current farm animals. Again, anytime I see a red button, I press that. So when I'm in here looking at my current herd, um, the first thing I'll show you about this screen is this sky blue line and the yellow line. The sky blue line is for sorting. So if I click once on Jumbo, uh, you'll now notice that every animal is in this order here, 771, 774, 776, 779. So um, every animal is in the order of their freeze brand. We, uh, you know, freeze brand or jumbo tag, they're the same thing. They're the farm management ID, the, the ID that you want to use for your own animals. And it's completely private to your own farm. Um, if I want to sort by date of birth, for example, I click on DOB. And um, you can see that over here, I'm down on the very bottom. So the youngest animal on the farm is 7.99. If I push here right up to the top, I can see that the oldest animal on the farm is um, 9340. So again, the way I got that was just by clicking on the top of the column. The, um, the, the line just underneath, the yellow line, um, initially people think that that's just a cosmetic line just as kind of as divider at the top. It is actually quite an important line. It's for doing filters. So for example, if um, you pr wanted to know how many males do I have on the farm. So you click where it's on the yellow line there, just underneath the word sex. Drop down this menu here, you pick bull, pick OK. So up in the top right, you can see that I have 25 rows. Now if you then said, well, how many of these were born in this current year? So I click underneath DOB on the yellow line, put a tick there and go OK. So straight away, you can see that I have, up on the top right, I have 11 rows. So that means that there's 11 uh, animals currently on the farm that are male that were born in the current year. So there'll be all sorts of ad hoc um, things that you can do just by using the yellow line to get particular subgroups of animals. If I click there again, put a tick in all, go OK. Click underneath sex, put a tick in all, go OK. And you can see that I've cleared the yellow line. There's nothing written along the yellow line and I'm back to my current herd, which is 156 animals. It makes sense to show you this sort of information in the first um, CD because this is just the, some of the fundamentals of getting around the software and being able to make sense of the data and getting through the screens and getting to see what you want to see as quickly as possible. A few other things that I'll show you here, and I won't show you every function, I'll just show you the key ones, is that um, notice the way I'm looking at certain um, columns. I have jumbo, tag, tagnum, sex, dob. If I wanted to change those columns, what I do is, you see up here I have columns and then I have a summary. If I drop that down and go for, say, D pedigree, straight away I just, I'm looking at the same animals in the same order, but I'm looking at different information for the same animals. So you can see on the right hand side that I have pedigree name, I have herd book number, I have extra information about these animals, and I got that just by changing the columns. For example, if I go here and I say I want fertility, so you can see here, I've just got some basic fertility information. It's not designed to be, there's other reports that do a lot more on fertility, but I can see the last calving date, I can see the due calving date, and I can see the lactation status of those animals. So again, it's a quick way if you want to come in here and say, look, uh, I want to see all the due calve dates of the whole herd. You can see it in here. This is one of the places you can see it. If I wanted to put an extra column in here, so you can control the columns. If I come in here and say, look, I want tag num an extra column in, and I want, um, say, the pedigree name in here as well, so I'll put a tick in pedigree name. So I've put a few extra columns into the same report. So now I have my, over here, I still have my last calving date, I have my due calving date, but I have included my pedigree name as well. Uh, just notice that when you put the mouse hovering over the yellow or the sky blue line, it tells you what that column is for. Sometimes there's a cryptic heading because we don't have much space, so FB is keep for breeding, FB for breeding. 
LC means current lactation number. Now I think that's enough just to show you how to get into the software. Well actually, what we'll do first is we'll show you how to get out. Click on the X here, click on the X up at the top right, and click on this X. <coughs> and do you want to back up this firm now? I'll say no because we haven't done any data entry. We'll show you how to do backups in one of the future videos, but at the moment we'll get out. So what I've done, I'm just going to finish this introductory video. It shows you how to get in, how to get out, how to go through the main menu, and how to look at lists of animals and do some work with your lists. So uh, with the second video, we'll go on to doing some um, data entry.